I'm going to be demoing a solution I built, a QA assessment tool using Power Apps that was built on top of the Power Platform pipeline. Before we get into it, just a bit about me. My name is Nati Teroldov. I actually live in Cape Town and I've been developing in the Power Platform for close to six years now. And I've got a true passion for the Microsoft Power Platform stack. And I just love making solutions and, and helping out uh, communities and establishments uh, better their processes through the platform. But specifically about the, the project that I worked on, the idea, QA assessments. The idea came from the Alien Accelerator by the Power Cat team. And if you've ever used the Alien Accelerator, uh, you'd know that when you deploy your solutions uh, to your various environments, you've got the ability to identify what uh, environments you're going to use for the solution based on their profile. And the issue I had with that is, OK, so I'm deploying from my dev environment to QA and then to UAT. But how can I validate my solution? during that QA phase to make sure that it's ready to go to that UAT, because in that UAT stage, we're not actually deploying the solution. We're just simply merging a pull request. So I want to focus specifically on these three phases from dev to QA to UAT. And following our dev environment, I want to ensure that we can get to our QA environment in a stable manner using either the LM accelerator or the deployment pipelines. But I wanted to hold the solution there to make sure that it was ready to go through to UAT when the when developer was ready. And that's where I wanted this type of solution in place in that QA stage to ensure that when we're ready, we can go through to a successful UAT environment. And that's where we have the QA assessment tool. And as you can see, it looks very, very similar to the ALM accelerator. And that's because the idea came from the ALM accelerator. However, highlighting the David and, and Hugo said at the beginning, the first issue I had when, when an idea came to mind, and this was inspired by uh, attending those uh, first contributor sessions, is how do I share this with the community? How can I make sure everyone can use it? If I build a solution in the LN Accelerator itself, A, it's difficult to share with everyone, and B, when releases are, updated, uh, are, are released, how do I manage recreating it and embedding it into the solution? So I decided, decided to start a bit quick, a bit simpler, and work with Power Platform Pipelines because they were becoming available very, very soon. And the reason I tackled it from this perspective was because the Power Platform Pipeline solution is built on database tables, specifically the deployment stage runs table. And when we create our pipelines in, in the solution itself, we have to identify all our developer environments, such as our development environment, uh, our QA, UAT, and, and our prod environment. And we're using our environment IDs in the solution. So I thought, okay. If I can retrieve those IDs from the Power Platform uh, Pipeline's uh, database tables and then reference that to its state runs, maybe we could actually work something out and, and link the two together and show what solutions are sitting in that QA stage. And that's exactly what I did. I was able to uh, reference those tables and bring all the solutions that were deployed to a QA stage into a Canvas app and then allow us to create a QA session um, with all the current versioning, the, the deployed developers, the deployed dates and times and, and, and all that information alongside of it. So I'm going to quickly do a demo on the solution as well. And before diving into the actual uh, solution itself, we're going to deploy a brand new solution to our QA environment using the pipelines. There we go. OK, awesome. So we're going to deploy it to our uh, QA environment. I'll take a couple of seconds. But we're going to enter our variable for the app's purpose, and we're going to deploy version one. So while that's deploying, let's head over to our assessment app. So it's a simple Canvas app. And as you can see, we've got all our solutions that are sitting within a QA stage, either currently within QA or have at least gone past the QA stage itself. And we've got quite a few. We've got our budget app, uh, clock component, et cetera. And within each app, we can see what version is currently sitting on, i.e. its latest version, when it was deployed to QA, and who created it as well. Now, for existing solutions that have undergone um, our QA assessment, we can also identify what assessments have been complete, what haven't been complete, and what needed to undergo a, a new solution assessment as well. But in order to grade this solution, we need some sort of categorized items to, to, to score our solution again. So if we head over to our manage items, we've got a pre-built list of all the checks we're going to apply on our solution, ranging from different categories such as Power Apps, Power App Cards, Power BI, and in each category, we've got a set of topics that we want to look into, i.e. accessibility standards, um, naming conventions, have we uh, applied monitoring, performance reviews. And if you want to edit all these items, we can add descriptions if need be. 
and this all lives within the universe. We can delete them as well, and we create can create new items into existing categories or new categories and manage those categories going forward as well. So we can always reuse the same um, assessment items. So let's see if our solution has deployed. It is still deploying. While still deploying, we're going to look at a existing solution. So if we go to our KPI management, uh, we can see our previous assessments that we logged in. So if we click on the little um, history icon there, it will take us to previous assessments hosted on our KPI management tool. And you can see we've done it for version two and version three. And if you look carefully back at our home screen, we've got version four actually ready for a new review. And at the same time, we can actually see when the review was complete, uh, its status as well, and who the reviewer was. So right now, I'm the one that reviewed it and I was a developer as well. And the result of our uh, assessment was we completed it and our total score for the solution was 86%, so it was a pass. Whereas with version 1.0.0.3, it was a fail. And if we want to go into the specific details, we can even expand on every single individual item and review the outcome from that assessment on an item level. So while our solution is still deploying, there we go, the deployed successfully. I'm just going to quickly refresh because I had a few issues slightly earlier, but our solution should make its way into our QA environment now, and it's listed in our app. So you can see our PNV demo solution over here, sitting at version one, and it was deployed today. Yes, I am quite far ahead of you guys. But if you go and say, create a new review, we can actually select the specific categories that we want to review um, our assessment against. So for instance, this is a simple Canvas app with a few Dataverse tables. We'll select our Dataverse, Power Apps, and it's in a solution as well. We can type in any additional notes, if need be, assign a review date, and we can even assign it to other developers as well. So if we uh, enter any usernames, we can add them there, and this will then go ahead and create the solution solution assessment for our specific solution. Now, when we're in our solution, oh, that seems to be a slight little bug. Let's go back into it. We can see all our categories for the uh, assessment have come up as well. We can uh, view them by all, by specific category, and actually search them as well. And when conducting the assessment uh, per category item, we can provide any feedback rated from a one to three, one being bad, three being terrible. If we want to pass an individual item, we can do as well. And if we want to add additional items to the specific category that we don't really want in our general item list, we can add them over here as well and score them accordingly and remove them as well if need be. Uh, we can submit, uh, we can save uh, the assessment for future references as well if you're not ready uh, to submit it yet. But when you are ready to submit it, um, we can then create our solution. Now, the way it works is because we've got a score ranging from one to three, we are summing up the total amount of items in this assessment and multiplying it by three to get an overall score. So because we've got 34 checklist items within this assessment, we are grading our solution against a total score of 122 points. So right now, based on the score I've given for one item, we've listed it at a two. If I try to submit, my total score points is sitting at two, giving it a 1.97% rating, which is not so great. But if I were to say, put it at 95, we can see it set, uh, set it to 93%. We can say pass and give additional feedback if need be. And when ready, we can submit the QA as well. And this will close off our uh, QA session for our specific solution, allowing us to now deploy to our UAT environment. And we can see it says the previous version now complete. If we go into our history, we can see that it was completed by myself and I was a developer with our score rate and our individual items over here for that specific solution. So that kind of covers the solution itself. But what's to come? So because I kind of preemptively made the solution based on the ALM Accelerator, I wanted to also accommodate the ability to have multiple QA environments. And that being said, with Power Platform pipelines as well, if you wanted to have quite a few uh, pipelines, you may have various QA environments. So I wanted to have that choice to be able to filter to various environments and apply um, these assessments based on these uh, environments. And I also want to include some automation to notify assessors when they've been assigned to QA, to notify developers when it's been complete, et cetera, and uh, add additional security so only specific individuals can see related assessment details or can submit the sessions going forward. Now, because this was inspired by the, the, the ALM Accelerator, I am pushing really hard to try to get an ALM Accelerator version out as well, which will hopefully be coming in the coming weeks. And 
alongside with the new announcement of PPP, the Power Platform Pipeline, it's just so much easier to say it that way, <laughs> um, coming into GA, there are quite, a new, quite some new features coming to Power Platform Pipelines that I wish to integrate with the solution, such as having preemptive approvals to auto-deploy the solution when, uh, when we've either progressed uh, a QA assessment as a successful assessment to then go through to UAT, and ensuring the extensibility features uh, to have after actions and before actions during our deployment phases with the QA assessment. So if you want to give the assessment a download, it's sitting on the uh, Microsoft Adoption Sample site as well as the Microsoft uh, PMV Community GitHub repo. And I'll leave that on for a few seconds for everyone to scan if need be. But other than that, that's been me. If you want to reach out, I love engaging with the community. You can scan my QR code over there. And that will take you to my LinkedIn, to my website, to my blog, and anything else. So, yeah, thank you so much for letting me present to you guys. Awesome. Thank you, Natty. That's fantastic stuff. Thank you.